I straight up forgot my phone password for like a good six and a half hours. That's a damn way to get one of these. <laughs> you bench potatoes are sitting and watching me just do this all day. I'm at wedge. <laughs> the picture behind Tanner, but it's just all cans of bean. What's wrong with Nuggin? I'll let you know how it is. That's the so baggish. <laughs> Why is bodyboarding dead in California except Orange County? Some old stand up like punches him in the face because he's on a boogie board. Like, <laughs> I want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, like, screw the this. All right, folks, we're back. We're back with another edition of the Breaking Even Podcast. Thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in. Keep the likes coming. Keep the comments coming. We're we're trending, so we're stoked. Anyways, fellas, Tristan is, uh, I think he's back in his podcast room trying to figure out how to work it again, so he'll be here shortly. Um, other than that... We had some waves over the weekend that we can just freaking hop right into. Um, storm, storm waves. Yeah. But firing. <laughs> and freezing still. Hasn't changed. <laughs> so cold, dude. 5-4 hood has been the, uh, the weapon of choice. Actually, it should yeah. be the only weapon of choice. Yeah, I don't dude. like to break out the 5-4 too much but it's been a nice it's been nice like it's taken a look like the five four is like just the way to go if you're gonna be cold just be warm <laughs> yeah. instead yeah <laughs> i gotta just get over it yeah it's been bad it's where we yeah. touched the water you i saw you were kayaking the other day um yeah i went paddle boarding uh yesterday um and I did a quick little cold plunge uh, at oh. the end, but I didn't. I didn't get in the water over the weekend because we were like I was busy with like a uh, with Easter stuff. Um, yeah, it was also. I like did. A I did. Worldwide holiday. Yeah, and so, <laughs> but um, dude, it was so crazy though. Speaking about so last week when we talked, you guys were talking about how cold the water was, and I was saying mm-hmm. like uh, that there were people swimming, you know, just like in their trunks, like it was a summer day. And again, mm-hmm. yesterday, the weather was super nice. Granted, water is still equally as cold. Yeah. And, um, dude, there was, like, dozens of people just swimming. Like, it was, like, the middle of summer. I was tripping out. Because, I mean, I was I was paddleboarding, and it was pretty damn cold. Um, <laughs> dude, it, was, it, was, yeah. it, was definitely, it was definitely not warm. But, yeah, I just say... Uh, I went over and checked the sand at Wedge. Um, I just paddled across the harbor, and mm-hmm. it was tide was super low, so I could just like dock the uh, the thing right there. And yeah, sand is still super bad, so no update <laughs> there. <laughs> Heavy, same old. Yeah, I did see uh, Boop. Boop was surfing though. Wow! Um, wow! Yeah, it's getting his early days in. Yeah, I mean, it, you if you wanted to get like a little womp. Like mm-hmm. there was definitely a couple barrels like on like onto the sand like yeah um I just I didn't really feel like surfing yesterday but but there's a there's a few little lumpers mm-hmm. yeah right. what about what about you guys where did you uh where, where were your sessions just good old creek I was just locked just, in at creek <laughs> yeah we were just making it happen out there it's old faithful. Uh, yeah, super faithful. It had like that, um, uh, like super steep went south windswell, and it just was like kind of bending down the whole beach. Mm-hmm. And there was just some wild sandbars that for two days it was pretty damn good. It was, yeah, it was super fun. Like Easter morning, I think we surfed. Yeah. Uh huh. And it was like, blasting offshore and just like really fun little not even really little like you know well it's creek so yeah. it's three foot out on the sets that are washing through oh here we go mm-hmm. here we got tristan coming in <laughs> um it's pretty sketchy when you see that box pop up <laughs> just yeah it was just super fun like really chippy little corner wedgy little corner bowl things that were really fun yeah um, so it was just a good time. A lot of waves, and it was pretty much just Craig and I out. So no, super nice. fun to just catch a lot of waves that were like 
for the most part, pretty good. Like had a couple of really fun waves. And that was that was Sunday morning was probably the best session you're seeing. I I think Craig just absolutely scored the night of Easter. I wasn't able to make it, but yeah. But or was that yeah, Sunday, but... Craig, or was that Saturday night? Uh, I served Sunday so night shit. late. Like I went out. I think there was like forty minutes of daylight left, and that was like that was Sunday, and that was good. Mm. Like that, all the clouds cleared up, and it was so pretty and cold and barreling, and yeah, that was that was nice. Mm. See, you've been, you've joined. It's <laughs> all good. <laughs> Did you figure it out? You can hear me, and I can hear you, and I can see yeah, your faces. Yeah. yeah, you sound great. You look great. <laughs> Whoa. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to get out of this. <laughs> I did it for you. Thank you. <laughs> What'd you press? <laughs> Ding dong? Whiteboards. I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't do this thing. Like, we need Sack Chat good, good tech thing, support. Good thing there is no, uh, there's no profanity in there. <laughs> yeah, or secret links to anything scary. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. Noth nothing like that. Nothing um, like that. Don't worry. Yeah. T, you need to send that room down here so we can all, <laughs> we can all use it. <laughs> I think we need it. Get one of these. <laughs> that thing is fancy. Dude, good. We could have it. That's some high tech stuff right there. Swerve's got an iPhone. Yeah, Swerve's phoning it today. Yeah, I'm in the I'm in the kitchen. So, does it look okay though? It looks great. Is it <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, Swerve. Would it Would it be better if I go? Oh, that's a, definitely better. <laughs> well, you should have said something. Well, I didn't know that it was gonna like. And when you flipped it, that it would go on the our screens too. Oh, mm. I think it's fine. There we go. Wow, you're in the you're at pipe, and I'm in space. That's how we do it here. <laughs> We're killing it. Um, I figured I'd get rid of the stock photo, find something that's actually cool, and yeah. not just something I ripped off of Surfline. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, we can do that too. Just rip. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, this actually just dawned on me that so that wave looks pretty perfect. I want everyone to go around and describe their perfect day. Like perfect, <laughs> perfect day, perfect day, twenty four hours. What sun up to sundown? So this includes right, non non surfing right activities. And no, no, you can. It can be anything. I'm just right here for. 24 hours <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm just doing that i would say uh, uh i would say a nice four hour wedge session into uh like a creek hang all day into like some golf in the afternoon <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that all right would, that would be nice that would be pretty sweet Mine would definitely include uh, eating lots of good food throughout the day. Sure. <laughs> yeah. What kind of food? <laughs> like, what, what are we talking? Are you making it? Or are you buying it? What, what's the deal? Um, let's see. For breakfast, probably going a nice bacon, egg, and cheese while pre pre uh pre barrel session. Ooh. And it's then like a six a.m. Pre yeah, pre barrel pre barrel food, huh? Um. Yeah, because you want to just just like hang, just like be like like at pipe, just like quick little beach park hang while you know it's got that little morning sickness, and you're just kind of hanging with the boys. Mm. I'm already, I'm already here. You guys are eating. I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, I'm I'm chilling in the beach park watching Tanner get barrel with my bacon, egg, and cheese from Ted's. Yeah, from Ted's. you. you you bench potatoes are sitting and watching me just do this all day. I'm at wedge. <laughs> <laughs> My perfect at, day just is like t the picture behind Tanner, but it's just all cans of beans. I'm just in the middle of it, <laughs> just showering down upon me like a jacuzzi, a standing beans. wave. 
native plants and beans are just <laughs> flowing or flowing around you like some mystical vortex. Yeah, and and it the location is in the picture behind Craig too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're on you're, you're on a serious it's my own planet. Just getting barreled in beans. <laughs> Are you ingesting some native plants before that to make this happen? I'm just full of <laughs> flowers and beans. <laughs> that is sick. That is definitely a perfect day. What yeah. the hell? I, got, I got an email about a whiteboard created in our what is going on here, dude? <laughs> what do uh, you do? I didn't do anything. I like how none of us like really know this platform at all. I know. Just, I feel like Oh, Zoom, man. I mean, you went to school on here for two years. <laughs> yeah, I kind of know. I'm, maybe I'm the, the Sack Chat tech support, but... Um, Yours was probably just click in and then... That's click it. Click in, close your eyes, drink a beer, <laughs> yeah. do whatever you want to do. Yeah, Open mine, just, just tune in and then go paddle out. <laughs> Yeah, did that a couple times. Did that in Waco, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were, like, turning your phone on in, like, in between sessions. Yeah, in between forgetting my password. <laughs> Jeez, you guys that was... that? Yes. <laughs> that was maybe one of the most fried <laughs> things I've ever done in my life. I straight up <laughs> forgot my phone password for, like, a good six and a half hours. Oh, oh my god <laughs> in in texas at the damn wave pool <laughs> dude like dude. phone locked for hours because i just couldn't figure it out and then i picked it up at the very maybe we were just cussed that's that's probably why yeah dude oh. that, that was mental and then you just like picked it up and nonchalantly entered it in right the last chance you had before it locked for like 24 hours <laughs> yeah dude that was so bad what a time. The heck, the heck, dude. Back to back. Wacos. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, we don't have much time today. Um, we got a lot of questions today that we can dive into. This is these are the most the most yeah. amount of questions we've ever gotten. Sick. Let's jump and dump. Um the first one we can start with is I mean, we kinda already touch on this almost every time, but it's if you could bodyboard anywhere in Australia, where would it be and why? This is from Maxi Lloyd 101. Um, so it's kind of narrowed down to just Oz. I think mm -hmm. we might have all said Oz, but we haven't really picked the location. Manly. Where? Manly. You can have it. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> oh, geez. That's like... So that's it's tough. it's hard. There's too many good options. I feel like Melbourne's um, a pretty good one. Yeah. I might have to. Do I mean, or no, I I'm feel like there's different, there's different. There's yeah. different way. Like I for for me specifically, there would be different waves that I would want to shoot versus waves that I would actually want to surf. Yeah, because like for me, like going like to the right probably and like shooting it or like mm -hmm. um that would probably be that would probably be the place or like i mean i know i guess um like shippies i guess wouldn't technically be considered That's Australia. Yeah. It's, it's tasmania it's, yeah it's enough it's is it yeah i guess it's not it's still yeah, i mean i guess that would probably sound super ignorant i mean i know it's <laughs> in tasmania i just didn't know if that was a to stay counted, counted yeah or not. um yeah we'll count it we'll count it <clears throat> but anyways yeah that shooting there and then but for surfing probably like black rock because mm. it just looks it's just <laughs> like such a such a fun playful wave yeah exactly Jeez. what that looks like i have a date with that place <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it's I, a pretty I have, long one yeah it, i have a i have big plans for big plans for black rock so harper better watch out yeah. Well, you may new, never be coming back. <laughs> yeah, my new yeah, my new love down there. Mm. Um, I'm going to go Jeez, it's hard not to say Black Rock or Nuggin. Like those are just two <laughs> like 
two absolute staples. I'm trying to think of somewhere high on my list that I haven't served yet. I mean, Mandarin Wedge, you gotta, yeah. you gotta say up there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Mandara. Just, just a nice right wedge. Never, dude. never, we never get those anywhere. So, I just, yeah, I mean, you, we all grew up watching that. All of like, you know, the craziest stuff happens out there. So, mm-hmm. I want to be wanna it. Be you, sick you, to you, you look like you got get, something to say. <laughs> Spit Black out. Rock, Mandara, Nuggin. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> there you go. My computer is only blowing up the of... zones. Black yeah, Rock, Mandara, Nuggin. Whoa. What's wrong with Nuggin? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is wrong. How about how about like Deba, Boxy, Ooh. Mystics? Just so you're just listing them. spots now? <laughs> <laughs> all the ones that we just listing missed, all yeah. the ways you know about <laughs> those are <laughs> what those are the best waves ever yeah boxies i got some yeah. good waves down there i'll let you know how it is that's just so baggish <laughs> <laughs> um well this one's pretty interesting it might be able to rant about it for maybe the rest of the time or just a quick touch uh from andy barton 1472 why is bodyboarding dead in california except orange county why are there so many boogies here Hmm. who wants to go Uh, um is it i i can go first i guess unless someone else is ready i'll sit back Um, I mean, I would say for Northern California, specifically referring to like, I guess, Santa Barbara, all the way up to Santa Cruz, I know Santa Barbara wouldn't be considered, but basically Santa Barbara and up, it seems like there's just still that like old, um, like stereotype and like that boogie boarding is like lame and stuff. And so it's just like, nobody wants to bodyboard, like everybody just wants to be a surfer um whereas like i don't know it's it's weird because i guess there's just not that many like old school guys that are like generational bodyboarders that are like getting their younger kids into it or like they don't really have friends that are into it and so like that's just how it is that's just how it is like i i think i don't know i don't i don't know if at any point in time bodyboarding in northern the northern half of California, like, I don't know if it was ever big. Like, I know that there, yeah, there are a couple bodyboarders, but, like, in the way that it is here in, like, Orange County and, like, even San Diego, like, has relatively bigger communities of bodyboarders. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's just a generational thing where it's just, like, the people who are, you know, in their 50s to 70s who'd have, you know, have you know teenage to young adult kids and stuff that could be bodyboarders or would be bodyboarders it's like they just all surf instead Mm -hmm. yeah i don't know that and you kind of hit the nail on the head there um yeah like you said there i mean there are bodyboarders up there like you know we know bodyboarders that are up there they're just like underground and that's kind of like the the vibe up there like even with the surf even with surfers like you know they're mm-hmm. all kind of mysterious and you know they're not really blowing up spots online and they're a little bit more protective about stuff so that's probably why also, it seems dead yeah yeah it's definitely like smaller up there there are you know the core guys that kind of hold it down in their little areas but you know they're also like it's hard for them to you know put the word out because you know they're a lot more protective of, up there. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Do you think it's because yeah. there's not like a, like, super, like, there's not like a, the wedge up there that's like seen by everyone in the whole world? That's got to have something to do. I was, I was going to say a better question is why is bodyboarding bigger down here than yeah. up there? And I think it has something to do with that. We got the wedge. We have, I guess, like, 
And what you were saying too, Craig, is like you they don't or you can't really blow up the major spots up there. And that's a double-edged sword because it keeps it more low-key. But here we're able to exploit something yeah. like the wedge where you can just whatever have. It's like the most viewed video. wave in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's also a really good body board, like world-class body board wave. Yeah. So that and it's just littered with bugs now, which is great to see. And filmers. That's another yeah. thing too, is up there mm -hmm. there's not a high concentration of filmers. So, which is essential to blowing or, you know, getting popularity or getting attention. So there could be yeah. things like that. No major shop really mm -hmm. as like a central hub or, you know, someone propagating a community. Yeah. yeah. Like that. And like kind of what Alex talked about it, there is, there definitely still is that stigma about, you know, don't boogie board, you know, boogie boarding is not cool. Just be a surfer. Like that's mm -hmm. here, here too, though. That's here. That's strong here, yeah. but there's no, it's kind of like a compounding effect. If you don't have like a community where you're like, you know, around here, you deal with that a little, you deal with that, but up there, it's like a kid, you know, gets into bodyboarding and he goes out and paddles out somewhere and some old stand up like punches him in the face because he's on a boogie board. Like he's not gonna want to do that again. Yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> like, get screw the this. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna get punched for doing something I like to do. Yeah. Like why the hell would you do that? So it's like and then th then that leads to like, okay, well this kid's over it, this kid's over it. They're not gonna grow up and, you know, support Hold it down. the next kids that are gonna want to do it. Because there's no like foundation for it, mm -hmm. yeah. So and and like you know how kids are too. It's like they want to do what their friends are doing, and it's like not not often do kids want to be like the one to you know start you know a trend or be you know mm -hmm. the outsider. And it's like if all of their dads you know surf, and it's like they're kind of like into surfing it's like i feel like even if they were intrigued into bodyboarding it's like well they don't they don't want to be the one bodyboarder like in the group um because yeah I, I definitely feel that the stigma up there is definitely much more prevalent still than it is here um and i think because I, honestly down here i think because like every I, I think it does would maybe have to do with the spots because there's just such a higher volume of wave riders in general because up there like you definitely have to be like pretty core like to surf in the middle of winter yeah. like it's cold it's sharky mm -hmm. it's dangerous like whereas down here it's like literally any johnny on a you know costco board can literally pad out paddle out at any wave at mm -hmm. literally <laughs> any day and Typically just nothing's going to happen. And, yeah, and they can just try, and typically nothing's going to happen. You're also not going to get, you know, verbally harassed, like, at most waves. Like, if yeah. you go out on a big day at Wedge and, you know, almost kill someone, like, yeah, you're going to get yelled at, but it's like... <laughs> but well, like, it's not because of what but, you're riding. But it's not because of what you're riding, it's because you're an idiot and you almost killed someone <laughs> or yourself. So, I mean, that's different. Um but yeah, I it I, I think there's a lot of a lot of effects. But here, I think it's just because that localism and like the is just not as strong because there's not spots that are like super heavily localized. And um, I think the stigma is also just lower because people are so invested in themselves that I feel like they just I, they just don't even care what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I so. agree. So it's like go. everyone just kind of does their own thing. And like there, there kind of has been that generational push of bodyboarders. Like, I mean, even look at our Salt Creek community, like it literally ranges from, you know, Eddie and his friends that are 13, 14 up to, you know, I don't want to call out anyone's age, make them feel old, but <laughs> they know who they are. They're in their, you know, <laughs> a lot of them are in their fifties. And, you know, I know guys that come into the, the shop and, still get gear there's guys even in their 60s and 70s yeah um yeah you know and they get their kids into bodyboarding and that's why it still is a thing here because there's that generational push of you know teenagers young adults 30s 40s and, and then 50 plus so 
which is great. Um, it's great. I think though. as long as long as you do, as long as you keep that going, it'll never mm-hmm. it'll never stop. But for like Northern California, if it never really started, it can't continue because there's there's nothing to yes. really continue. But I do want to give a shout out to the bugs up there for holding it down. Yeah, the way you mm-hmm. do, you know, sick. You know, their core, they're you know, yeah, they're doing it. So you know, shout out to those guys. You know, you know who you are. Yeah, yeah the listening. few, the the few and the proud up there. I mean, yeah, they're <laughs> they're they're yeah, there definitely is a few, and yeah, I mean, good on them for you know doing what they can to hold it down. Sure. Well, I mean, might as well just wrap it up there. We all got things to do. We just snuck in a quick sneakster episode for all yeah. of you out there listening. Um, again, thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Breaking Even podcast. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Give us a like, comment, share, subscribe. Help us get this going. Thanks again. We'll catch you next week. Keep the dream alive. Let's do it. <laughs>